Today I'm going to talk about fake plane travel. Well, there's an easy solution to that, Barney, me old mate. Don't travel in fake planes. The way you can tell you are going to be fake plane traveling is that a real plane looks like this and is big, it can carry multiple people and is all around a real thing that you would find in some kind of an airport. And fake would be this, where you buy tickets of some guy in the street and then he tells you, you just scoot down and fit right inside what is clearly a goddamn toy plane. And yes, I am talking from experience. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me uh, 19 times, shame on me. What if I told you that when you go up to the sky and you travel, it may be just an illusion? When you go up into the sky and you travel, just puts me in the mind of someone just floating themselves up and shooting across the planet Superman style. And may just be an illusion. We all know you genuinely think it's some sort of trick. Now how they manage that and have been managing to do it for literal decades before we had anything remotely capable of faking that sort of thing and the fact that people can drive to the same place separate from someone flying and get there hours or days later makes it seem like an illusion that absolutely fails at its job making me wonder why anyone would f***ing bother. And maybe that's just me using my thinky box again, like some kind of idiot. Well, there's a miniseries called Ascension. Ascension? Are you talking about the 2014 show that takes place aboard a generation ship, aka a spaceship designed to carry multiple family lines of people in order to have the manpower to run the ship till they get wherever it is they're going? that turns into an intrigue plot about what they are really there for. Because why? Is it any good? I haven't actually seen it. Or maybe that's a good reason, because not really promising. Anyway, I think you'll find that's one of those fiction things that they do. So I don't know how on earth that's going to help you prove that air flight is somehow not real. But sure, go ahead. And that is all about this and it's also related to the fake moon landing. It's all about that. Or, and fair warning, but potential spoilers for a show you lot probably aren't going to watch, it's basically about experimentation by a vault tech s company, and for those of you who don't do Fallout, basically they made bunkers for people to survive the end of the world in, and then did fucked up experiments on them, usually with some hubristic outcome, but, and I seriously can't stress this enough, they are also fictional, so in no way reflect any real thing that is actually happening to gigantic groups of people under our fucking noses and fake space nasal lies. So let's investigate. Fake space that's very clearly there and NASA lies about what exactly is never made clear. Awesome. Also, I do really need to get me an investigation hat. I think it's the only way you can be legit in this industry of ridiculous dumbasses. I mean, how will people know that I am a gibbering moron if I don't wear a hat that clearly states so? I want to start with a great comment I received on one of my videos. A great comment on your channel? That seems very unlikely. Seeing as most of what I have seen from your fans when they have come to mine is just gibbering nonsense about how you are the most talented human alive and the only reason I take the piss out of your lunatic ramblings is because of how jealous I am. No, my love, I am not jealous of Barney and if I ever wanted to be like him, I would simply slam my head in a car door a few hundred times until I finally started to taste the colours of rainbows. They put fluoride in our water to dumb us down so we don't notice that they have put the wrong bulb in the fake sun. They put fluoride in the water to dumb us down so we don't notice they have put the wrong bulb in the fake sun. Now I know exactly what a few of you at least are thinking and possibly furiously typing right now. No way this is fake person that is a lying liar taking the piss. And you know what? I'm inclined to potentially agree with you, but, and here's the important part, I genuinely think that Barney thinks that this is an earnest comment. And also, no matter how stupid something sounds, there is a non-zero chance that it's not actually a joke. I think the last few years have taught us 
all that no matter what you believe to be true, people will believe things that you think are so obviously stupid. And if you just stick with me and see where this goes, because assuming a non-zero number of people reading this originally thought, hmm, that's a good point. So, well... I think that you will all agree. Although hopefully not with the comment, but that Barney is actually a fucking dumbass. Which is why the summers are hotter than before. The whole reason that they faked the moon landing was to distract us from that they changed the bob on the sun. See, as stupid as that sounds, plenty of flat earthers genuinely think that the sun is a local object, possibly artificial in nature. And as much as thinking of it like a bulb is obviously ridiculous, I don't think that it's as far off the belief of many flat earthers and conspiracy theorists as one might hope, cause damn. They want to charge us for air conditioning in the summer when they turn up the heat of the fake sun and turn it down in the winter so that they can charge us for heat while they watch us and fiendishly laugh at us from their control rooms in their underground lair. Again, exactly the sort of shit your lot do say, with the glaring inconsistencies that we can see like how much energy would it take to heat up the world? Surely it would cost more than they would make from people using air conditioning or heating or whatever. The ocean is fake too. When you get on a plane, it never really goes anywhere. They just project some clouds onto the screens. They call window seats. They shake the tube. A little to make it convincing, the captain gets on with his best captain's voice and says, ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing some turbulence. You just know that the fact that the sort of virtual roller coasters and flight things exist convinced no small number of people that, hey, this must be how they do X traveling thing. At no point connecting the dots on things like windows having done that exact shit for years before we had anything even close to the kind of tech needed to fake it even close to convincingly. Then they change all the signs to a foreign language and everybody changes their skin color to make you believe you have traveled. That is why they pressurize the cabin so you can't look out to realize they are moving stuff around and they and the makeup crew is busy making everyone look foreign just so they can scam you out of your hard earned money. I'll be honest, if that was how they really did do travel, well, I'm kind of into it. I mean, seriously, that kind of effort, just for little old me and maybe a few hundred other people that are much less important than I am on the plane, I think they deserve my hard-earned money after all that. I mean, you're still going to potentially an all-inclusive and sitting on a beach, sipping Mai Tais, or, you know, whiskey ties, and having a wonderful time for cheaper than it would be in the country you apparently were pretending to be travelling from. 10 out of 10 would get tricked for no good reason again. And my thoughts is just like that. <clears throat> and of course, it's a little bit far-fetched. I, I, I'm totally aware of that. There it is. That's why I think Barney is a genuine ridiculous horse person. Because if he was faking for whatever reason, he would be like, yep, 100% real. Me and big smart guy. Although, to be fair, he could still do that and be absolutely earnest. But the fact that he's like, it's a little far-fetched and not saying, well, that's obviously bullshit, makes me think that he agrees with it, at least in principle. Just not maybe about the specifics, which even that much is completely f***ing wild. But I think I mentioned in some of my previous videos when I dealt with the jet fuel hoax and how planes are flying very slow and they levitate. Ah yes, of course, the floating planes, because of course, a gigantic hunk of metal with no form of upward thrust generating mechanism, at least that isn't a wing, is levitating, because that makes more sense than just going forward and getting where we want as quick as we can, for no reason. It was all very convincing and made me think, wow, planes am must fake because me smart, and not what possible benefit could there be for any of this? You fucking spanner. That um, it's really something that you can't really explain. You go up there, you don't really feel that you are really traveling, except of some of the turbulence and just the takeoff and the landing. I think this is an idea that stems from the fact that on a plane, once you have accelerated to cruising altitude, it no longer feels like you are moving because you're no longer accelerating. And of course, even though you are hurtling through the sky at 500 miles an hour, you know, half the speed of Earth's rotation, 
You can run and jump and throw a ball and whatever other kind of thing that's going to annoy all the other passengers while you're stood still. And that's a huge problem for flirts because of course you can't feel the Earth's rotation either because of relative motion. So instead of accepting that if the Earth is spinning, they wouldn't be able to feel it and moving on from that, they have to pretend that the entirety of physics must be wrong. But to be fair, they were already doing that anyway, so... That's it. When you are up there, you don't feel anything. And so they could do whatever. It could be just an illusion. It could be just your, just, just air. You've got to love the it could be anything concept, which falls into the category of just asking questions, which is, of course, the idiot's catch all tech for believing bullshit without actually having established how it's true. I'll tell you what it could be, though. It could be that planes fly through some magical substance called being fucking aerodynamic and that very clever people figured out how to make it work and that you can actually see how it works on a small scale by buying a remote control aircraft and wow they actually work it's almost like the physics of this is well established and understood and there's literally no reason to believe it's done some made up way apart from as an attempt to make yourself sound smart while actually making yourself sound like a goddamn buffoon um in the air and then they just take you and you know maybe teleport you to your destination or or what do you mean or you heard it here first folks teleportation technology exists and instead of just like letting us use it fully aware thus massively increasing the productivity of humanity and changing the world at a fundamental level i mean think about it you could solve world hunger you could solve delivery you could solve me getting all the whiskey immediately in my mouth and they would be able to make more money than God. Instead, they use this extremely high technology to simulate a much lower tech one because that would somehow make them money and involve a shit ton of completely unnecessary work. Brilliant. They don't change anything. It's just like, um, it's just like, um, it's just like not true and only an utter cretin would give it any credence whatsoever. Yes, that is correct. A scene that they change in Hollywood, they change the, they change the stage, they change the people, whatever. I don't know. It's it's crazy stuff, but you know this shit has been turning up a lot lately. This concept that the world is literally like a play. I mean, Barney himself has gone on about the idea that the Truman Show is literally reflexive of reality. And I would just love to know where these ideas are fermenting out there. Mostly because if I could find that, I would have access to literally infinite content. Imagine the wellspring of stupid that would flow forth from such a place. I would be more powerful than God, YouTube channel. But that's mostly because he never uploads. I'm starting to think he's not real. Whatever it is, I heard also from people when they go to a longer destination, like traveling 15 hours, let's say. I find it very hard to believe that anyone actually talks to you outside of your crazy little bubble. So I can only assume that whoever said it to you was a fucking nutter and not like a relatively normal person. But that's just a wild guess. There are certain parts when they are told they have to um, have to close the um, the blind on the window. They just can't look out. As I understand it, that's simply not true. There are rules about having the window blinds open at certain points, but any rules about when to close them seem to be on a per carrier basis at best. And it's mostly about not blinding the f out of your fellow passengers when the sun comes into focus at the window level. Basically to not be a gigantic dick. And depending on the flight time and location, I would imagine that it makes little to no difference. And the simple fact is, they are, in my experience, manual. So there's literally nothing stopping you from having a sneaky peek out when the staff aren't looking. And yet no one has noticed a bunch of extras running around building a new set for your oh so important ass. And they are given the explanation that the sun will be too um, strong, whatever. Okay, but then what about night time? I mean, you can see things during the night regardless, especially if it's people running around doing whatever. They aren't going to be doing it in pitch black, are they? Also, what about when the sun is directly above? I bet they don't ask you to shut the blinds then. And if it's at one side rather than the other, and again, again, 
If it's so important and they are using so much other high-tech mumbo jumbo, why the f are they manual? Surely it wouldn't be that difficult to make them automatic, especially with your magical hovering tech. It's almost like none of this adds up when you think about it for even a second. But I guess it is something that they just shouldn't see. So that's a very interesting one. Oh wow, that's a new definition of interesting that I have never heard before. It is in fact very interesting in and of itself. By the new definition. That is to say, interesting apparently now means fucking idiotic. And that is the most interesting way that you could have put it. And so because of this, um, I looked into another um, miniseries that was sent to me. Is this how you understand the world? Purely through random miniseries and films and shit like that. Do you not think that's a bit of an interesting way of doing that? And that you should perhaps instead, oh I don't know, examine things that aren't fictional and designed purely for people's entertainment? You interesting man. By Jason. And I want to show you that. It's called Ascension. And it shows exactly like that. All right, I thought it was a different thing, but obviously you recorded these separately and don't remember what you said in the other. Because you know scripts are for fools. I mean, I use scripts to try and avoid saying really stupid things all the time, so maybe it's right. It shows exactly how traveling in space and probably in the air is fake. So let's get into this. No, it's a story and anything contained within it, unless it's stated this is a work of fiction based on real events or some shit like that, is going to be something someone made up, you absolute fucking lunatic. And before I get into that, I have this article bookmarked for myself from Life Science. How many humans could the moon support? Okay, that's a bit of a jump in topics, but cool, I'm all about it. How many humans could the moon support? Well, that's really interesting because it's actually exactly zero because it turns out that if you send any humans to the moon, I'll fucking kill them for absolutely no reason. That is definitely nothing to do with my secret whiskey stash. No. First, we need to answer the other questions about lunar survival and we have all these fake CGI imagery. Okay, so that is actually CGI for once. That's actually fake, and it looks like it's probably very much on purpose. They aren't trying to trick you here. It's just a demonstration of what it might look like. But yeah, compare this to the things that they call fake CGI and it's just night and day. How real, you know, real things actually look. Because it's almost like they're real or something. About how, you know, you can see the Earth and this is the moon and, and whatnot. Um... Cool. What's that got to do with flying in airplanes being fake? I mean, seriously, do you think they are going to just fake the moon and people are going to go there and no one will notice that it's some giant soundstage? Because while well, humans are pretty goddamn stupid, I seriously doubt they wouldn't notice that shit. I mean, the gravity for one, really hard to fake that shit on the planet. I have tried, and what usually ends up happening is you end up accidentally blending a bunch of people. But oh well, free smoothie. Now, this is such a, such a stupid idea because, of course, um, the moon is not a, a, a plane where you can live. This thing is silly because of my magical power of incredulity. Okay, that's great and all, but here's the thing. The moon is absolutely a place people could go to because, right, they have. Just because you would be far too incompetent to achieve such a feat, even with the appropriate resources, doesn't mean that others couldn't. But that's mostly because they aren't interesting people. You know, because they're nerds. Hey, it works on so many levels. It's just a projection, it's just a light, it's an LED light as you as you could see in my previous video about the moon LED light. Oh shit, do you actually think it's effectively a bulb? Makes you wonder about the first guy. I mean, maybe he was just f***ing around, but it's amazing the stupid shit you can believe if you're dumb enough. Kind of scary when you think about it, which is why he's not scared, because thinking is for chumps. And so... The thing is, it's just simply not possible. And of course, it's all CGI. All it is, is just fakery, right? And they want us to believe this system. Oh, okay, great. I think we are finally going to get a why for all of this nonsensical bullshit. Awesome. Me, I'm the super excite. Because they want to, to eliminate people. And the way they want to eliminate people is that they lie to them. 
they've lied to them about, you know, going to the moon, let's go to the moon, let's go to the Mars. They put them into some um, some spaceship like craft and then they don't go anywhere. I think that is the stupidest thing that you have ever said. And you have said so many dumb things. One, there is absolutely no program anywhere for large amounts of people to go anywhere near space. Mostly because we all know that it's ludicrously expensive to do so. And two, there are so many other ways that you could cut down a population that don't require pretending to build a giant spaceship. A spaceship that also somehow would be perfectly capable of sustaining life for literal generations, completely defeating the purpose of doing so in the first place. No, I'm fucking done. That was just too interesting. I'm off. If you'll excuse me, I have a very important plane to catch. And, oh, God damn it, not again. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh, well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships, and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-